Hello, and welcome to, I've just had a shower and I feel very perky right now, so, uh, hi! Um, got a box! Now, if you saw my, yeah, pretty sure it was my last video, well, the one with the really big box, um, I said in that that I thought that what I did receive was going to be something else. And I did check my emails and the thing that I thought it was going to be is also on the way, so I wasn't, like, wrong in my confusion, it was like, Okay, yeah, it's it's the both with the on the on the way. So there's a fair chance, given that it's size and relative not as heavy as the previous box, that this could be the thing that I thought the last box was. With me? Good. So let me get my trusty rainbow knife and uh, have a look, see what we have in here. So how you been? How you, how's it all going? How are you? You're well. You, you're doing all right. You're eating well. You're keeping cool and dry and all that fun stuff because you know for those of you who are in England you, you, you know and for those of you who are not in England well you know I hope you're also um, keeping appropriate for whatever weather you are currently going through so there you are and yes 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 this is okay this is the thing that I thought the other one was going to be it's a much more sensible box um, we have Papel just Papel which is always good because um more often than not, I do actually wrap that up, like fold it up again, and then keep it for later. But that is something I'll show you in a second. Here's the uh, main attraction. Okay, that's that. Oh, okay, it's a bit smaller. I thought maybe that's okay. It's cool. And uh, here we go. And an advert. And an advert. So the advert is for Terraria, a uh, ball game, which does look cool, which I haven't um, supported on Kickstarter. So uh, there you go. There's a QR code. If that looks, if the, if the picture looks interesting. Then uh, the, there's the QR code. I, I hope that's there. You go. I hope that worked for you if you're interested. So um, it does. I did look into it. It does look cute. But, um, I think at the time for my budgeting, I am actually trying to cut down on board games because I have a whole lot and almost none of them I've played yet. So <laughs> for various reasons. So um, so yeah, it, it's it's a board game. I mean, that was that was a clue here. And also, if you'd seen the previous video and realised, oh, that's what that is. Um, so, yeah, this is... Oh, nice. And I could do a bubble bag. Ah! Behold! His tentacled one. This uh... Alright, so. Welcome, devotees! The gaze of the Cosmoctopus falls upon you. Do you have what it takes to prove yourself the most dedicated follower? Cosmoctopus is an engine building, tentacle gathering board game for one to four players. Um, one to four players. Guide Co Cosmoctopus, Cosmoctopus through the inky realm in a flexible configuration of tiles to gather resources, obtain powerful cards that represent relics. Scripture, hallucinations, and constellations. Harness the power of these bizarre objects and experiences. Craft potent, potent card combinations and be the first devotee to earn eight tentacles and win the game. Uh, add a private investigator included with the, in the box for a solo and co-op play. So we have like... So you, this is the main bit. And then uh, you've got a different mode that you can play as well. So there we go. And that's what's... Uh, the rest of the back look like. Uh, so all the list of pieces, one to four players, 60 to 90 minutes, 14 plus. Uh, teach new players in just 10 minutes. Well, that's... It's okay. So you can teach new players in just 10 minutes. How long does it take you to teach yourself? Hmm. But anyway, uh, the, and it is from Paper Fort Games, which, as you can you can guess, I see that's why I got card and dice mixed up, was it? Board and dice. Yeah, board and dice, this is paper fort, so you, you can see where the confusion came. Like I said, they're literally on top of each other, so. But uh, let us open her up and see how shiny the box actually is. And let me just. There we. Okay, maybe this one. Yes, this one. Alrighty. Yes, did it do. So yeah, I did the. Um, it was one of the early adopters of this one. Uh, which means I get a, a prize that um, not everyone got, or some of them got, but I'll explain more when I show it to you. But this, if you see that, got spot gloss on it. Oh yeah, there's a good angle. So yeah, the um, Cosmoctopus is all shiny, and then indeed the word itself, Cosmoctopus. 
but I do like a good bit of um, uh, spot gloss just 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 the right amount you know not too much we get a nice and shiny on the box and then the, the devotees um I will say because like obviously I can't show you these um but because I did like I said I did the Kickstarter I don't know if it would ever be available as a digital download if you were to buy it retail but um I also got some wallpapers and like this is one of the wallpapers so you like obviously expanded out so that's kind of cool and on the inside we have the detective who's also another wallpaper that i got so uh what's that say i can see the patterns but what does it all mean so yeah that's the inside of the box i do like it when they do the inside of the box as well very pretty Alrighty, uh what to show you first um pieces so the boring pieces are these little hexagons which are the best again um but uh no, they're octagons Hexagons are the best again, but these are octagons because octopus makes more sense. Um, then we have slightly less boring shape. We have some nice splatty stars as tokens. Uh, we have for the detective game, little um, magnifying glasses and little swirly cosmoses, which is very, very cool. Uh, we have as part of, I don't know if this is actually a Kickstarter exclusive um i don't know if you can again i don't know if this is going to be available in the commercial version but a uh, little tentacle um tray to put things in so i don't know if that's a long-term storage or just for play because these do come in ziploc bags i quite like that so it's like you can either keep them in the ziploc bags or put them in the tray and then use the ziploc bags for something else uh we have in the uh shape department a Oh, okay, I was like, there's one slightly misformed, misformed. All right, so I was gonna say it's some kind of pentagon, but maybe it's some kind of. Oh yeah, no, no, that would make sense. It's kind of an ink bottle thing because octopus, his inky, his inkiness. There you go. And there is uh, more shape. Last shape is speech bubble. Speech bubble. That's little wooden speech bubbles. There you go. And for the thickness, they're all the same kind of thickness. So you got that. So there's there's our shapes. Um, we also have some other something else which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, this is neat. This is very neat. Up oh, and the uh, inside of the bottom of the box. Oh, and the uh, the side of the box as well. So lots of detail has gone into the box. I appreciate that. Um, stickers, which again I'm not sure if this was a Kickstarter exclusive or not. It doesn't say, but uh, they're fun. Um, pop those at the bottom. Uh, the rule book, which isn't too thick. I mean, when you compare to the last game, which we had like four different rule books, it's not too bad. Uh, some artwork and stuff. So maybe it won't take too long to teach ourselves the game before teaching our friends in 10 minutes. Yeah, fairly, fairly straightforward. Um, the text is quite clear. So, rules. We also have a little, uh, noir comic little uh intro thing old observatory look closer oh there's a qr code. i'm not sure if i'm supposed to share that qr code with you so if you call it on pause and good for you otherwise uh yeah so it's a little intro comic for our detective friend who oh that's ah oh, that's neat i kind of want to scan this and um color it in later uh, give me a while, I need to pause. Sorry about that. Um, my partner came home before I expected him to because he didn't text me to let me know. Um, he's also glaring at me because oh, he thinks that's scary. So if you hear chewing noises in the background, that's him. But there you go, there's a little comic. Like I said, the centre pages are kind of neat and I might like scan them and like just print them out and colour them because there's some fun detailing in there. But yeah, that's, that's the book. Uh, we also have... Oh, okay, uh, join us today for a millennia, oh, so this is the, uh, for millennia elders have spoken of the powerful celestial octopod who inhabits the, the inky realm of dimension, uh, connecting the deepest gloom to, of, of the sea to the darker, dark abyss of space. Some call the creature Cosmoctopus, others know it as the great inky one, and then a little bit more of an intro letter, and then a quick guide to symbols in the game. Uh, we also have some punch-out cards for various usage in the game, um, which I will just punch one out, so there you go. Uh, more details when I have actually read them. Uh, 
more punch out cards with more so i think this is like if you got the commercial version rather than the um upgrade version that i have got um so you can see you got the uh you know the spy glasses got the glasses got the twirlies but uh, yeah so you got the little wooden ones or you got the cardboard ones in the punch outs also i have been holding back on you we have no nope, i'm gonna keep holding back on you we also have cards which i'm assuming are the ones that are gonna make up the board because it's like a more organic one broadside barnacles so whatever that means i'll work that out later and eternal offerings again i'm not going to open these up because there's a lot of cards and we could just be here all day looking at them but the card is the board is generative so you, you make it up as you go along so in theory every game should be different so that is fun and then the thing that i have been holding out on you for tentacles we got tentacles we got 3d printed and everything and um they are very very cool and a lot of fun and why did you look at me like that and of course we can't just have tentacles without his inkiness himself or themselves i don't think they've uh, ascribed a gender to him to them just a big cosmic octopus as indeed is the title so you yeah you, you basically the game is you, you go around you collect things there's a few different shapes of tentacles and i believe the goal is if you once you've got all eight tentacles your faction wins so there you go that's the game that's the game board and rules and cards and bits and pieces so there's that but as always dear viewer as you know when i get these things with kickstarter we don't just get the game oh no we also get a lot of extras so we also have a very cute very very sweet pin let me just see if i can get out for you properly <sighs> sorry i'm not used to you looking at me whilst i'm doing this it's very strange it's a cute pin he likes pins as well so to be fair that's actually um, a valid thing for him to be excited about <laughs> he's making the cheese gesture there we go there's a the little there's a the little octopus himself themselves <laughs> that's cute but please stop okay oh there you go and then also one of the things i got as an exclusive for getting it i think is it the first two days or the first week or being under a certain number of um, members and you can buy this yourself for i think it was 10 pounds you could get it as an add-on 10 15 pounds but i got it as a freebie because i was an early adopter you got it on plenty of activists don't give me that look you know it's cute Please stop doing that. I'm on. I'm trying to film. But yeah, we get a little bloody octopus. He's gonna. Well, I was gonna put him on my head, but um, it don't quite balance on here. But yeah, so um, he'll live on my head <laughs> because oh, uh, his his bum's kind of protruding. But if you push it in, you get little grabby motions with his tentacles. So that's fun. So uh, doesn't have a name. I might just end up calling Cosmo or something because that's not very original. Um. It just says Cosmo Octopus Party, um, and then just uh, the tag information and stuff. So yeah, we we get a little plushy octopus. Um, like I said, I got this as a freebie uh, for being an early adopter on Kickstarter. What are you? Why? What, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? Why? Why are you doing that? Why? Oh dear, I think, I think, dear listener, dear viewer, I may have to go now because um, he he yeah it um they're, they're starting to take over. Okay, uh, thanks for listening. Love you. Bye.